Liverpool looking for next Mohamed Salah as CEO stresses importance of keeping pace with rivals. Liverpool CEO Peter Moore has stressed the importance of driving revenue and growth to maintain high levels of transfer spending to keep pace with their major European rivals as the club look to unearth the next Mohamed Salah. The losing Champions League finalists, owned by American investment company Fenway Sports Group, FSG, have certainly not been afraid to splash the cash thus far in 2018, with midfielders Naby Keita and Favano arriving at Anfield for combined fees in excess of £90 million. In January, Liverpool, having failed to sign the Dutch international from Southampton during the previous summer window, swooped to make Virgil van Dijk the world's most expensive defender in a deal costing a cool £75 million and Moore believes that such spending is crucial as Liverpool focus on replicating their success with Salah, who enjoyed a tremendous, record-breaking maiden campaign on Merseyside after arriving from as Roma for just £39 million in June 2017, scoring 44 goals and registering 16 assists across all competitions and scooping a plethora of individual honours including the prestigious BFA Player of the Year award. The 26-year-old forward also notched twice in as many appearances at the World Cup in Russia after recovering from a shoulder injury, though could not prevent Egypt from bowing out at the group stage following three consecutive defeats. We're in a world now where if you're not a £500 million football team you're not going to win anything, Moore said during a talk at the International Business Festival inside Liverpool's Exhibition Centre on Thursday, as reported by the Liverpool Echo. And the ability for us to be able to stay up bluntly with the Manchester United's and the Barcelona's and the PSG's and the Real Madrid's, all of whom have slightly different business models, becomes critical, because if we don't stay up with them we don't compete. We are the proud owners of the world's most expensive defender in Virgil van Dijk at £75 million. But that money has got to come from somewhere. And being able to drive that growth becomes critical. Why? because you invest in the team. Our primary focus for every pound, euro, dollar we make is to give it to Jurgen Klopp and our scouting staff and our sporting director and say go buy the best players, go find the next Mohamed Salah. Go shore up the defense, which we did with Virgil van Dijk. Go figure out how you can identify a player like we've just done with Naby Keita, buy him a year in advance, leave him in Germany, but now, as he shows up this week, is a Liverpool player. This doesn't come cheap. It's a high-stakes game. It requires revenue coming in all the time. 